You, I'm talking to the young boy. Come here. Come real close. Come real close, youngest. Mm-hmm. I'm on the block one day. Oh, here, I don't want to say his name. He's still in prison. He's doing life. He was an OG on the block. Mind his business. Hands about this big. One of them old here. All he do is lift weights every day. He go to work. He worked in the mattress factory. The mattress factory in Dallas Penitentiary, that's where you make the most money. Mm-hmm. Now, that's the big CI. That's, that's like CI correctional job. That's like different. Mm-hmm. So you might make $200 a month, mm-hmm. right? He got a good job. So all he do is go to commissary day, all the time, on time, go to chow, mm-hmm. go work out, go to work in his cell. You Child, said hands how big? Like this big. He wasn't playing. Had a single cell. And never was on dope? No, no. He was like. Hands just that big for no reason. And he was tall. He was about like six, two, six, two and a half, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, minus business. Always, his clothes always press. He ain't got to go to church every Sunday. He don't mess with nobody. So one day this young boy come on the block, mm-hmm. right? He just came on the block, came upstate, doing some time, whatever. <laughs> Nobody know what's going on, but I hear some whisperings with the OGs, because I always kick it with the OGs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't really, I ain't really deal with too many people my age yeah. or whatever. I only deal with the, o, the, the OGs. And when I say OGs, I mean offering game. I'm not mm-hmm. saying just you just an older dude that just mm-hmm. did some loser stuff and went to prison. You somebody that's, read this book, y'all. Mm-hmm. Go do, you know what I mean, this, and the third. I mean, mm-hmm. That's going to encourage you. Go over to the school building, man. Make sure you get your GED, man. You got to get out mm-hmm. and do these programs so you get out of jail. Them type of OGs is offering game. Mm-hmm. So one of the old heads said, man, this way go down, man. I said, what's going on, old head? Because one thing I liked about the OGs, you know when stuff was ready to go down, so you could take, you could retreat, take cover, go in the cell, you know what I mean, figure something out, you know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, you know. They're like, yeah. And they talking, I'm just sitting there. I ain't going to say I was meddling because I'm a part of the conversation because these are my OGs. They're like, yeah, man, you know. I mean, I'm born in the black. The word is, he killed his nephew. I'm like, whew. Okay, so now I know what's, now I know where to stay away from. Young boy come on the block. He all young. He don't know what's going on. He just all just young. Mm-hmm. I mean, all right, asking the guard, can I get a conversation slip? You know, he probably got his mom mm-hmm. looking out, give him a couple of hours. You know, they mm-hmm. my baby. Never they gonna look out for the you mm-hmm. know spoil him for a little minute. Mm-hmm. Might got an aunt, somebody that love mm-hmm. him or whatever. I mean, so he worrying about conversation. He just walking around like he don't even know what's he don't know what's going on. So one day, but he was just a, a demon on, out there. Oh, he was a, he, he killed he killed his nephew. He was mm-hmm. nothing to do that. So one day, it was only like he was only in the block like three days. About I'm doing my rounds because I used to always walk laps on the block. I was on J Block. Mm-hmm. I'm on J Block in Dallas. Anybody that was there, they know I'm doing the rounds. So I'm walking the tear, walking the tear. I used to have my music on, walking the tear. But this day, I'm walking the tear, and I was on it. I never forget this day because my homeboy had my earphones, and I'm too going under the cell. You go like, yo, then see if he's in the yard, he's not in the yard, get my earphones so I can, because I have my Walkman. Mm-hmm. So I go down there, right? So I'm like, damn, he ain't in, he ain't in the yard. So I can't get my earphones. So I'm like, I'll wait till he come back. So I'm doing my laps now. Man, so I see the young boy, he came out the day room. I guess he was playing cards or something. He ready to walk, he walked down the tier. As he's walking down the tier, I see the one old head leaning on, like leaning near the door. So when the young boy go to walk down the tier, this was some, this was some straight. This was playing. The young boy go to walk down the chairs. He go to walk. The old head act like he walking in front of him. Like he, to stop him, you just seen a hand come out that cell from the old head. He gripped him. The grip of life. It was one of these. Like, Wait, nigga, the fuck off. I'm just showing you. I need you to feel. I, you, to feel. I, you ain't the old head and I ain't young boy. All right, no. I just, I just wanted you. I want you to be. Let me see. No, no, no. Let me see. I want you to be there. I want you to be present. You got to the journey. Fuck, dear. All right, but I'm I'm just explaining. Don't grab my motherfucking neck like that, I'm explaining to you how it went. So he grabbed. Freaky ass nigga. He grabbed him. Freaky ass old head. He grabbed him with the grip of life. You could see it. Because he didn't know what was coming. Like, And I'm coming back this way. As they go, they go to tear, we, we're drawing. I'm coming back this way and sells over here. He's sitting there and his facial, because he walking, he walking this way. He was like, he gripped him, he snatched him in there. And all you could see as he was snatching him, you just see his other hand just grabbing his mouth. I'm talking about it was like just, just imagine somebody gripping you like, mm. I'm talking about the well, fear. He gave him an ass assassination. No, 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 no. <laughs> The fear, listen, the fear, the fear. He was an ass assassin. Listen, listen, the fear that was in his eyes. Cause now, now it's like, now it's like, your ass on no, no, now as I'm walking, I know what's going on. Cause I know the old head cell. So I'm like, what's that? It's the moment. Yeah. Cause when he grabbed me from the joint, like he grabbed me from here and you just seen his other hand come around, grab his mouth. He couldn't even squeeze. And he was like, it was like the fear. You knew I'd seen that in people's eyes before in the joint. Mm-hmm. Snatch him in there. Man, you seen it in your eyes. <laughs> it's, it's about, I'm probably like about, like 30 steps away. So I'm walking. I'm like, man, all I heard, man, 
you could just hear the, the banging on like like the bed frame, like boom, boom. You hearing all type of stuff. The the cabinet could be the cabinet move. You just hearing it move. You hearing the little move. So I walk, and I got to play normal. I ain't gonna throw it off the beat. I got to cause they know I walk the joint. So if the police, the police right there in the bubble, they know my joint. I'm walking, so I ain't gonna throw it off. I walk back. As I'm walking back, you looked in the cell. Keep it No, no, no. I ain't looking in the cell. No, I was. No, you don't do that. Don't do that. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I wasn't. No, I ain't need no good time. <laughs> so listen. When 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 I came back, all oh, you heard, you heard, ah, ah, you heard moaning, right? Yeah. It was like moaning, but it was a moaning and crying. It was a mixture of like moaning, crying, when a scream. Oh yeah, that's getting. And, uh, and listen, yeah. listen, this one I heard. This one I heard. Shut the shut the fuck up, mother. That's all you heard. And he was. Ah. So listen, I might have did like about five, six more laps. He was still in there. Just to peek in that motherfucker. Listen, listen, no, no, no. You wanted to go in there. No, no, I, no, I didn't. No, <laughs> no, no, listen, listen, listen. So I do five more. So old here was so strategic, he timed it about 15 minutes before the yard come in. So he worked in my boom, boom, boom. So now as I'm walking back up the block, I'm coming down to walk back up, you hear the yard coming in. Yard in. I hear him screaming. I could outside, you hear the guards saying, yard coming in. So as the block started to come in, as I'm walking up, Oh, his door open. You just had a sheet right there. Man, he had the young boy head. That boy head was the size of a watermelon. His face was, I'm talking about, man, he was like, he was red, man. Call him red face after that, man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, he was just, he was hickeyed up so crazy. And I ain't going to front. I don't know what else happened. You know what else happened. I'm not going to. You I said can't. you heard moaning. Yeah, but it was probably from life. Like, I didn't know what else happened. So, Bro, Pete. The nigga getting beat the fuck. He ain't moaning. So, Pete, when he come in, I mean, when he come out, everybody coming in from the yard. So, they peeping. They be like, damn. But people minding their business. I'm peeping because I'm coming from this way and I'm seeing everybody look at him. Man, that, that young boy went to his cell. He must have grabbed something out of his cell and went straight to the police desk. I'm talking about straight to the bubble. The bu They was like, oh, what's going on? They looked at that boy. Lock it down. Lock it down. You see what I'm saying? To lock it down and all that stuff. I'm, just, I'm like, I'm like, this am. They calling lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. I go to my cell, right? This is one of the moments. I had the moment's office. I cried inside of myself and I said, I got to get out of here. <laughs> Why? The way they fuck with you? Man, I thought he, listen, from what I seen, the way he walked out of that joint and what he looked like, mm -hmm. I felt like I was assaulted from just being able to see that type of, I never seen somebody's face so cut up and hickeyed up in my life. 